Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is David and this is me Shiri and uh, today we are touring in the Negev Desert in a uh, nature reserve called Ain of Dat, the Avdat Springs. Yalla? Yalla. Ain Avdat Nature Reserve is about half an hour south of Be'er Sheva on Road 40. It's the same junction that leads to Ben Gurion's memorial tomb. This is Wadi Tzin, Nachal Tzin. That's where, that's the gorge of the Ain Avdat, the Avdat Springs. Beautiful desert nature, water in the desert, which is always a wonderful attraction. The entrance is here, that's where you pay, then you drive down and park here. That's where we are right now. Then you walk inside the gorge all the way to the water pool. Then there's a staircase that takes you up to the second level where the um, grove is. And then there's ladders that you walk out to the lookout point. It's called the Avdat Canyon. The springs are named Avdat due to the proximity of this canyon to the ruins of the ancient Nabataean town of Avdat, about four kilometers south. The Nabataeans were a tribe of merchants who controlled the trade between Arabia and the Mediterranean Sea. Their capital was Petra, and the town of Avdat was about halfway on the ancient Petra-Gaza road. The Avdat Canyon is actually part of a very large wadi called Wadi Tzin. If you happen to be here during a flash flood, stay out of the canyon as it can be extremely dangerous. There's a special tree that grows here. It's called Ela Atlantit, Pistachia Atlantica. It's a remote relative of the pistachio tree. Now these cliffs, we might see birds of prey nesting on the cliffs, maybe vultures or eagles. I was shocked that there's water, <laughs> I must say. <laughs> Beautiful. Right? How about you? Do you have anything? You had fun here? Yeah. I thought that I think it's the only one. This is the Omic. Bye. 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 Or the waterfalls, there's a flash flood once in a while, but between the floods, there's a constant trickle of the water and it fills this beautiful pool. So these narrow staircase leads up to the second level of the gorge above the waterfall. <laughs> 
the river Tsin carved through these rocks and created this canyon. You can see how all the layers are exposed. But wherever it's like softer, it erodes faster. These are my monastic cells. See, there's a few over there, one over there, and uh, the monks would hide in these cells. So the monastic movement in the Negev and the Judean desert started in the early 4th century and uh, wherever there was, uh, there was a spring, which means that there's water and food, the monks would carve themselves monastic cells. And here is one of these monastic cells. You can see how it's carved inside. The limestone, you can see the chisel marks on the wall. And this would be like a niche, maybe for his closet or for his possessions. And another one here. This is another one. A little window. Beautiful, huh? Here you can see the flint formation within the limestone. So the upper part of the gorge, there is this uh, grove of natural trees. These are called poplar trees. In Hebrew, tzafzefah, tzafzefah taprat. So beautiful down here. Well, regarding the trail, if you only have one vehicle, if you only have one vehicle, then it's better to walk back to your car, and then you can drive around, and the same ticket will allow you to the top entrance, the upper entrance, and at the upper entrance you get to see these views. Uh, you can't descend this trail. There's no other trail down to the canyon. So if you have parked in the lower parking lot, retrace your steps to reach your car. Why? So this guy, the photographer, he got a good picture of the vulture. The vulture sits on that ledge over there. Ah, there's his head. And he has a tag. Yeah. So everyone, we hope you all enjoyed this tour of Ain Avdat. So if you did, please give us a big thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. And see you in our next movie of Wonderful Israel. Bye everyone, Litrot.